David, um, I I want to ask you the, this question because as I've uh, been dealing with the multi-world interpretation and thinking it absurd at first, I've experienced the fact that over these couple, three decades, the multi-world uh, interpretation has become more and more accepted by more and more quantum physicists. So why were you right uh, in the in the fabric of, of of reality, you talked about this as one of your four big ideas. Uh, why were you right and I was wrong? Why are there more people now committed to the multi-world interpretation? What's been happening? Uh, well, one thing is that people are trying to build quantum computers, and if you if you want to ask how a quantum algorithm works, then there's really no choice but to work out what it does in each of the separate branches of the Schrodinger equation or what. And, and one of the problems with, um, well, a major problem with trying to confine theories or ideas to the realm for which they were uh, invented, um, like like the, the tigers and whatever it was in our ancestral, no, lions it would be, wouldn't it? Uh, in our ancestral environment, then, then the the trouble is you would be forced to say that uh, the theory of quantum computers, for which the theory, the quantum theory was not invented, should be abandoned, shouldn't be explored, um, and uh, and they won't work. Uh, and even to this day, the universal quantum computer hasn't been built. So no, there, no such computer has ever been experienced by anyone, and the theory was not designed to, to describe it. So why should we take it seriously? Well, I think that such things have to be taken seriously. And, and um, one day, it'll, it, if we don't, then one day one of these things that we haven't experienced, that our theories weren't designed for, will step up and bite us. I'm going to give uh, David the last word on that uh, for theme two, that uh, nonsense or disrupting infinities can be dealt with in various ways um, and, and perhaps dismissed. But, you know, I, I personally feel a lingering anxiety that we're all missing something big here. 